Uh, beautiful people, Sherry here from the Flex Giving Crew. How's it going? Um, I just wanted to say thank you guys for all of your birthday wishes. It means the world to me and for also your love and support. Thank you. I read all of your comments and even though I can't uh, respond to all of them, I do read them and I do appreciate them. They give me the courage and the strength to keep doing this. So, all right. I love you. Cheers. Hey guys, what's up? All right, so this is going to be a twin flame reading um, for uh, June the 28th until July the 6th, I believe. Oh. So I'm going to be using my deck for clarifiers and, of course, a John Holland um, for the main energy. Okay, so here we go. Beginning with the feminine uh, past position, strength, spiritual strength. Um, so, usually in the right away deck, this talks about um, the wounded warrior, you know, being knocked down time and time again and still getting up to fight, give it that final push. Um, but what I'm really seeing here is you know that the feminine has been doing a lot of spiritual growth um, and there's a sense that you've attained a lot of wisdom um, in this past week um, so a lot of growth here five of wands yep six of swords and the base chakra so the five of wands here talks about um, overcoming obstacles and challenges so it's a growth card and it's meant to make your light shine brighter so you've overcome some challenges um, but again you feel um, like you're on the right path the six of swords represents walking away from a negative situation uh, negative energy um, but it's more has to do with making that decision to finally move on um, so this is moving to calmer waters uh, and it's, you know, stilling the mind as well. So a lot of the feminine have let go of um, a lot of baggage I'm seeing here. And although, you know, it was difficult to let go of some of these things, um, ultimately you feel like you are safer and more secure, more grounded, especially with this base chakra. So... I'm seeing the feminine as this beautiful Buddha um, who is grounded, who is solid, and who has come to this attainment as a result of letting go of thoughts, um, you know, your past, and any uh, baggage that might be, you know, hanging on to you. All right, so the masculine past position, five of swords, conflict and defeat. Um, so again, it's another energy of walking away from negativity. Um, so we got a five here and a six. So this is not engaging in drama arguments. Um, there's also a sense of embarrassment as well. Um, so yeah, I'm seeing him finally moving on as well. Wow, nine of wands again two of pentacles and the judgment card so nine of wands same card here spiritual strength or in the rider weight deck it is the wounded warrior so both sides <laughs> have been doing a lot of spiritual work and clearing their karma of this negative information or negative vibrations um, the two of pentacles represents making a decision and while that decision carries out there's a sense of feeling imbalanced um, but he was the calm within the storm as these changes took place. Uh, yeah, so this also talks about being in the now, you know, being the eye of the storm. Um, the future position, we got the judgment card, so this is a grand awakening. Um, so he's had a lot of realizations, a lot of the epiphanies, um, and he's no longer engaging in drama of the 3d world he can see that he can have a different life that's more in line with his spirit spirituality so he's trying to manifest this um 
spiritual path into his life. And so it's almost like, you know, the things that he found pleasurable in the past just doesn't do it for him anymore. Um, he's awakened. He's more conscious. He realizes that his entire life has just been um, a movie projected on the screen in his own mind. So he can create a different life, and that's what he's doing. Okay, feminine present position, five of swords. Oh, seven of swords, sorry. Progression here, five, six, seven. Um, so this is a sense of being deceived, uh, feeling like you can't trust. Um, so this is the feminine's present uh, feeling. So it's, you know, looking over your shoulder, uh, feeling like you're going to be stabbed in the back. Ace of Pentacles. King of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles. A lot of Pentacle action happening here. That's Earth energy. So the past position, this is past, present, and future energies, our timeline. The past position, we got the Ace of Pentacles, which goes nicely with the Two of Pentacles over on the masculine side. So there was a gift, an offering from the universe, um, a key to a new venture or um, an investment um, you know, a new business opportunity or just a new job or even just, you know, moving and starting a new life somewhere else. So there was an offer given, okay? Um, and I'm assuming it was from a masculine energy or this offering makes the feminine feel like this king of pentacles, strong, grounded, successful, um, has obtained a lot of abundance, however, not placing a lot of importance on the material world. Um, and then in the future, there's a sense of growth from the Ace of Pentacles, two, and then the three. So there is definitely a growth there uh, with the grounded energy and starting to manifest and see results in the 3D world. Now, whether or not this means that some of the feminines out there are actually manifesting the masculine energy into the 3D reality, or that there's, you know, been some communication and discussions about how some feminines and masculines can start coming together. Um, now, how does that relate to the Seven of Swords? Well, what I'm seeing here is either the feminine hasn't fully let go of some things in her past, some negative energy, and it's starting to creep up on her, um, or she's feeling like she can't trust the Divine Masculine. Um, you know, there's a sense of having that new beginning and questioning motives, questioning intentions, um, or questioning whether or not it's going to happen, but here we have growth with the Three of Pentacles, so there's a sense that things are progressing as they should. Okay, um, present position for the masculine, five of pentacles. Interesting. So more growth, a lot of earthy energy, and he got two fives here. So that's a transition energy. Um, so financial and material changes. Usually this represents feeling left out in the cold, feeling like you have no help. Um, you know, you're your um, finances are being stretched. Um, this could also mean that you need to release yourself from something in the 3D, so you literally, you know, not literally, but it, metaphorically shoot yourself in the foot in order to be released from it. So, um, yeah, hardship right now. Strength card, solar plexus chakra. Wow, and the Ten of Wands, so a lot of fire energy here. Um, the strength card is coming in the past position, so this is using love, kindness, and compassion in order to deal with the situation. So this talks about taming the beast within. So he's really had to go within and calm himself, because um, you know acting out or exerting your will on somebody hasn't worked for him in the past. So he's taken a different approach. Um, so it seems to me that. You know, he's walked away from something and he found strength and courage in order to do that. However, right now he's feeling a loss um, in a 3D reality. Um, the solar plexus chakra is empowerment, it's strength and courage. Um, 
and it's loving strength and courage. So again, empowerment. He's trying to, or he does feel very strong right now as a result of going within. And I think last week's reading had that similar feeling of um, going within, taking on feminine qualities, uh, while the feminine was exerting her will, exerting her strength on the external world. So, you know, there was a role reversal. And that's kind of what I'm feeling here as, as well, is that um, internal strength, almost motherly-like, very kind and gentle. The Ten of Wands is in the future position. So we got another progression from the Nine to the Ten. Um, so this is being caught in the machine. This is the matrix, right? So you're tapped in, you're working nine to five, and you're burning candle at both ends. You're just getting nowhere. You're putting a lot of work and effort into something that is draining you financially. So there is an ending to that. So the masculine understands that there will be a loss or there will be a feeling of disconnection um, but he's find, finding the power and the strength in order to release himself from the machine, um, you know, because it is exhausting him. So, yes, empowerment, beautiful, and an ending in the future. Near future for the feminine. Oh, nice. Throat chakra. So she will be expressing her concerns um, you know, this distrusting energy, or it means that communication is coming in to her that will clear up some things. Nice. Two of Cups. Oh, wow. Nine of Cups. Dang. And the Nine of Pentacles. Crazy. Um, okay, so the Two of Cups in the past position. So this is spiritual union. This is recognizing your twin flame and having a heart chakra activation. So that enlightens you it um, moves you to higher levels of consciousness you know the throat chakra third eye and crown chakra become um, you know activated and there's a beautiful energy exchange between um, the twin flames or soul mates so it's a deep loving connection that is unlike any other experience before and that's what's special about twin flames is that this is a journey about enlightenment so the Nine of Cups, present position in the near future. So this is wish granted. So this energy has come into your life, this feeling of abundance of love and satisfaction. So there are two nines here. Um, the Nine of Cups relates to emotions and love, feeling of satisfaction, like enjoying the best food, the best wine, the best company, um, emotional um, abundance, you know, a lot of love is what I'm seeing here, wish granted. Future position, Nine of Pentacles, another amazing card. Uh, so these two talk about arrival, getting to the place where you don't have to worry about money or being alone. Um, you're just, you've arrived, you feel abundance and satisfaction and attainment of everything that you've ever desired. And like I said, that comes with communication, whether she expresses it or he expresses it. Um, the Nine of Pentacles also talks about harvest, readiness, ripeness. The fruit is ready to drop from the branches. So it's, a, you know, it's harvest. The thing that you've been waiting for arrives um, in succession. So just abundance and love from here on out is what I'm seeing. So that... Ace of Pentacles, grew to the three, five, and now it's a nine. His near future, temptation, the devil card. Um, so this is a chain in the 3D. Um, it seems to me like with the five of Pentacles, he's released himself from that. And he's walked away from it mentally in the past. Um, but, you know, it, it's been draining a lot of energy from him, no doubt about it. So the Ten of Wands is in the future, so that also could ref be referring to an ending. Four of Cups. Justice. Wow. And the Chariot. So 
looks to me like the energy has shifted back to a masculine energy on the masculine side empowerment strength um, so anyway back to the four of cups past position so he this is a disconnected energy as well this is um, you know, offering someone a cup of love and them not receiving, or it could be you disconnecting from this energy. You know, it, it no longer, um, you don't, no longer get any satisfaction from it. It is a chain that is binding you. Um, so this could also be the masculine desiring a relationship um, and feeling like it's not going anywhere. Okay, so what I'm feeling is that energy is ending um, or has will be ending very soon um, the justice card means that justice will be served that this connection whatever it is it could be a codependent relationship an addiction or just a belief you know in yourself um, that is negative it could also be placing a lot of importance on the 3d world and its pleasures so justice, you, you know, if you're able to release that, if you're able to walk away from that negative draining energy, justice will be served. So this could have to do with legal documents, um, you know, court case or just a judgment of some kind. Um, karma will come back to you in a good way. So this is freedom. This is a release is what I'm seeing here. Because then the masculine gets on his surfboard and he rides off into the future. So the chariot is a water car, so it has to do with emotions. Um, so this is using your pure will um, exerted on the external world in order to overcome obstacles, okay? This is taming the will within. Now it's a reversed energy. It's a flip back to empowerment, strength. Um, and so he's already attained that strength in order to do so. So, movement. So this is going after your dreams, after the things that make you happy. And it's mirroring this energy with the nine of uh, cups here, and two cups, it's more so the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles, sorry. It's, you know, going after those dreams, those things that make you emotionally fulfilled and happy and um, and then this is actually manifesting it. So, what is the final outcome for the feminine? Very nice, divine masculine. There's an arrival. Somebody comes knocking on your door. Um, so, you know, this isn't for everybody, but it seems to me like there will be a connection um, that comes forth in a very loving, beautiful, open honest way wow throat chakra again two of swords and oh wow divine feminine okay so throat chakra coming in the past position here we have it repeated past position so it's communication that possibly comes from the masculine or you know a door is opened on some level whether it be 5D or 3D, but a decision and communication. Um, the Two of Swords represents that decision, so there is a sense that there was no movement forward, and um, the Emperor is someone who is authority. They make decisions. There's nothing that holds this energy back. When he wants it, he goes after it. So it's wisdom, leadership control um, and again exertion of um, energy on the external world um, so I feel that a decision is made and as a result the feminine um, finds herself <laughs> on some level um, uh, you know as a result of this connection um, there you know, this is a divine feminine twin flame. This is a divine masculine twin flame. Um, it represents the emperor. Um, well, this is the empress. So this is manifesting as well. This is birthing things into creation. While this is making, 
you know, manifesting things, but um, going after it in a controlled way. It's action, um, where this is creative manifestation. Uh, so there is this empowerment that happens as a result of communication, as a result of a decision being made. Um, yeah. Beautiful reading so far. Okay, so the masculine final outcome. Wow, there's that two of pentacles again. So down here. So it's an energy that's being brought in from the past. Wow, oh, ten of pentacles. Four of pentacles. And seven of cups. So ten of pentacles. Wow, again, nine and ten. So this is um, attainment of a long-term goal. Um, so this is having it all. This is being financially secure, um, you know, having abundance coming in, and so you don't have to worry about money. So it's retirement, um, but there again, there isn't a lot of, you know, importance being placed on the material world. It is having friends and family um, around you and just enjoying life. So that is an energy that's being brought in with the chariot and with the feminine. There's this completion, the ten of pentacles. The four of cups, now, or sorry, four of pentacles. This is right at the, you know, present position connected to the two of pentacles. So either this could be somebody becoming closed off or somebody, um, you know, holding on too tightly to something in the 3D world. Um, but, and not sharing, right? So, but I'm not feeling that energy here. And the John Holland deck, this usually represents a solid foundation, um, feeling very grounded and uh, successful. Um, and so, you know, it's like a mountain. It's unwavering, unmovable. So what I'm feeling here is more of an attainment, right, from that decision that was made long ago to plant that seed and manifest your dreams and here it is it's I feel it's being manifested now this could also mean the divine masculine being coming closed off on some level as a result or needing to become closed off in order to make that decision in the past I don't know it doesn't really make much sense here so I might pull an Osho Zen card um, but in the future position we got the seven of cups so this is having a lot of choices it's kind of mirroring this card in a way it's like She's standing in front of all these doors, all these opportunities. So here we got money, we have um, commitment that looks like growth, and then you know it looks like thought, clarity of thought on some level. So there's all these options that are presented to him. So um, they're all great options. So he's needing to choose um, which door, okay? But ultimately. The message here is to follow your heart. So I'm going to pull an Osho Zen card for that Four of Pentacles. And I'll read that to you. What do you mean by the Four of Pentacles spirit? Awareness, the chariot again. So Chariot is my card, um, so that's Cancer, so it was my birthday yesterday, and again thank you for the birthday wishes, love you guys. Okay, so it, you know, it, these two Chariot cards could just be the energy of, you know, the Cancer season, being emotional and, you know, being at this heightened level of awareness, um, you know, being in the sun, wanting to do things, and that kind of thing. Okay, the veil of illusion, or maya, that has been keeping you from perceiving reality as it is, is starting to burn away. The fire is not the heated fire of passion, but the cool flame of awareness. As it burns, the veil of a face of a very delicate childlike Buddha becomes visible. 
The awareness that is growing in you now is not a result of any conscious doing, nor do you need to struggle to make something happen. Any sense you might have had that you've been groping in the dark is dissolving now, or will be dissolving soon. Let yourself settle, and remember that deep inside you are just a witness, eternally silent, aware and unchanged. A channel is now opening from the circumference of activity to the center of witnessing. It will help you become detached, and a new awareness will lift the veil from your eyes. Okay, so, yeah, it's like, what I'm feeling there is becoming unclosed, you know, finding your center, your balance, um, and seeing things with a different slant of light, you know what I mean? It's awareness, a realization that you can have this happy life, um, and, you know, if you just decide to go for it, manifest it, empowerment. Okay, what is the feminine bringing into the reading? Truth, judgment, same card down here, a lot of repeats. So you're offering this truth. Uh, this is a grand awakening. Okay, so once you're awake, you're always awake. You know, you may slip back into unconsciousness once in a while, but um, there's no stopping this, you know, awakening from happening. Um, yeah, so you're offering truth. This card also represents um, significant changes occurring in your environment and having to evaluate and weigh a decision. Six of Wands, Two of Wands, and Ace of Cups. So the Six of Wands is success and victory. So this is, you know, being the rock star, being placed on the pedestal, feeling like you're on the right path. Um, so that goes really well with this release in the past. You were successful. You feel strengthened and grounded. Um, and this is, you know, just recognition that, um, you know, you're doing great. The Two of Wands represents making a decision in the past that had to do with your higher calling, um, your higher purpose, right? So it's an expansion of the mind, which goes beautifully with this. It's, you know... Both of these images are uh, the feminine looking out this door or window and seeing the universe, seeing, um, you know, all that is and how you are related to it and how, you know, you are the universe looking back at yourself, basically. So it is an expansion, a decision, um, and a, there's an energy of waiting for a return, waiting for a moment, and here it is, the Ace of Cups. So that is a brand new beginning of love. So it is heart chakra opening. This card only shows up when you're ready to receive love into your life. Um, so you've let go of the past, you've healed your heart, and um, you're ready to, to feel true love again. Not necessarily again, but to you know receive and feel true love. Unconditional love. What is the masculine bringing in? Four of Swords. So rest and rejuvenation. So he's healing his heart. Um, again, there's an energy, you know, of him moving away from negativity. But he's in that meditative state, and that is where he will, you know, have these epiphanies, these realizations, this desire for freedom, and then actually, you know, attaining that. The Sun card. Wow. The Knight of Wands and the Eight of Cups. So, Sun card. This is Illumination. It's the best card in the Major Arcana. It's the best card in the deck. So, this is um, all the most positive emotions you can imagine. So, it also represents a brand new beginning. It's a return to innocence. So, he really became empowered as a result of going within. Um, it's success, victory, uh, abundance, new beginnings, and ends of cycles. Um, the Knight of Wand is a movement forward, and it's very fiery, heated, passionate. Um, so it's present position. So it's like he's coming out of this meditative healing state, and he is really on fire with all this wand energy and moving away from, you know, disconnecting from that chain. Um, very passionate, very 
um, heated and controlled as well with the chariot here. So there's a sense that he's moving forward and the Eight of Cups is in the future. So this is actually doing that, um, making a decision to walk away from drama, negative emotions. This is emotions while well, this is negative thoughts. Um, so it's a pilgrimage in search of self. All right. So he's in a healing state, but he's right. It's almost like he's ready to get on that fiery horse and um, really discover who he is. Okay, so foundation, very nice awareness. So it's a shared energy between the masculine and feminine. Um, so this is, this comes after the full card. So it is starting to manifest your dreams into reality. So it's empowerment. Um, it's realizing how powerful you are. Uh, so both the crown, you know, the crown chakra is activated for both um, male and feminine. And um, so, yeah, there's this sense of them both working together to make that ten of pentacles happen, that union happen in the 3D. Uh, so this is using your focused attention to manifest whatever dreams and ideas that you may have. So again, direct connection to source, to the universe. So one card for the feminine, Ace of Swords, and the lovers, very nice. So we got two ones here, so 11. So the Ace of Swords is success. It is uh, making a decision. Um, it is cutting away darkness barriers. So I feel, you know, this card also represents communication. So there's a sense that the feminine has spoken her truth, who knows her truth, knows what she wants, and she's manifesting right now. Um, and the masculine got the lover's card. So this is passion, desire. Again, there's a sense of fiery, you know, desire. So this is longing for a connection, a twin flame connection. Um, it's feeling that passion that is you only feel with, uh, you know, twin flame or soulmates. Um, so it's an activation. It's you know, but it's more of an animalistic hunger um, for that connection. So the masculine is trying to manifest, or desires, to, or is manifesting this connection into his life. That's his goal that's what he's going after crowning energy obstacles and challenges again repeating card so this is overcoming small challenges small obstacles no biggies um, and again it's to make your light shine brighter so one card for the feminine page of cups and three of swords so for the masculine um, this process is a lot more painful for him. Um, there's a sense of the feminine kind of questioning his motives or wondering if he can trust, or she wondering if she can trust him. But, you know, again, it's a warning that if you don't deal with any lingering thoughts like that, it will continue to manifest to a point where you're going to feel imprisoned by the mind. But anyway, it seems like the masculine is really going through a difficult time right now. He's got the three of swords, um, the four of swords, five of swords. And so that is lower vibrational energy. It's, you know, the three of swords is heartache, pain, loss, you know, deep sadness. So um, I think last week, you know, there was a sense that the masculine was going through a very difficult time. And uh, so here's that energy that he's bringing in he's overcoming this though he's becoming powerful he's healing him, his heart um so yeah that's beautiful to see the page of cups is messages of love so it's communication it's desiring to start in a, a relationship or a connection with somebody that you've developed feelings for quite obviously the divine masculine so this is wanting to communicate that love um, or it means that the feminine has been sending messages of love that have been helping the masculine overcome this difficult time. 
which is absolutely beautiful to see. All right, heart-centered energy. Oh, wow, spiritual union. Oh, my God. That's beautiful. Sorry, there's a park outside. If you guys can hear the kids screaming, my, my bad. Got the window wide open. It's so hot here today. Okay, so, yeah, spiritual union. So it's the same card. Uh, where, oh, yeah, over here. It, so, again, it's the desire on both sides to come together but it's also recognition of a 5d connection the spiritual connection that is shared between twin flames and soulmates um it's enlightenment it is again heart chakra activation it's a deep love and um yeah so i'm not going to pull any further cards for that that's beautiful so I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. Oh my God, patience, temperance card. So this is the ultimate union card for me. Um, so for some, you know, that this means the twin flames reuniting and living a soul purpose. You know, it's the souls recombining. Um, it also represents patience, you know, planting that seed so long ago. And... Uh, nurturing it so it grows into a beautiful tree a beautiful flower so I, I see a lot of coming together you know a lot of working in unison um, and the feminine giving a lot of love and support although like I said there's a sense of betrayal um, not being able to trust but I don't see that being carried into the future. What I see is a decision that's coming from the masculine. I see truthful communication, um, you know, that is based on love, undeniable connection. Um, so this is also represents balance in all areas of your life. So it's like spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical. So it's a shared energy between the twins. So it's like, you know, there's a sense of coming into balance, coming into harmony, um, and togetherness. All right, so I'm going to pull two cards from Miss and Mermaids, and I'll read those to you. For the feminine. Mermaid with a golden dragon. And masculine big blue whale very nice so this kind of goes along with the strength card there gentleness um, where's my book oh, right in front of my face okay I'll have to pause and look for it all right so I'll read the feminine first number three okay Mermaid with a golden dragon, a golden beast did I spy, while swimming aimlessly, idling by. What a treasure, what a prize to capture my eager eyes, a pet to cherish, precious, bright, shining with such honeyed light. Good luck, great fortune to adore, I'll guard my gold forevermore. So I'm just going to put this down. Okay, so it says, a sweet young mermaid looks over her newfound treasure a tiny baby dragon. His golden scales emit a radiance of wealth and prosperity, and he nestles among the water lilies in the lake. The meaning, look forward to prosperity. Good news, your hard work and careful planning are soon to pay off. While it is exciting to contemplate your new success, it is important to keep your head. Remember that with wealth comes responsibility, and if you're not careful, with your money, it may be soon, uh, may soon be gone. Do not give into temptation to spend quickly and avoid falling victim to bad investments. Instead, remember your long-term goals and choose a path that is consistent with what you wish to accomplish in your life. Just the same, it's okay to splurge a little. You deserve it. So there we go. It's that repeated theme of being successful, having this abundance, you know, grounding, security, harvest. You know, love, oh my God, spiritual union. You know, so there's all these good feels 
coming towards you, girlfriends. All right, so for the masculine, 16. Okay, so it says, Big Blue Whale, with you by my side, a benevolent beast, I'll always be mighty and strong. Your manners so docile, your body colossal, your great weight and force keep me swimming on course, embracing the sea with your song. So it says, a mermaid swims close beside an enormous barnacled and crusted blue whale. In spite of the creature's impressive size, the mermaid shows no fear, indicating the pair are close friends. This gentle giant clearly means no harm. Use your power gently. The blue whale is the largest creature known to man, with an inconceivable amount of physical power. Just the same, she is no monster, but rather a gentle giant, worthy of respect and admiration. As you discover your own source of personal power, do not forget to maintain your loving disposition and use your strength to protect the less fortunate. Only the weak are cruel, the kind and gentle always be the truly strong. <laughs> Let me read that again. The kind and gentle will always be the truly strong. So that's beautiful. And that's kind of what I'm seeing here. It's a gentle strength. Um, but at some point he turns it around and he, you know, he uses that power to manifest. All right, so I hope this helped, guys. Uh, please leave a comment below or like the video. Um, anyways, I love you guys. Peace. See you next week.